Good morning, dear brothers and sisters, and may the peace and the grace of our Father through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be with you all. Magandang umaga po sa lahat ng ating mga kasama dito po sa Timog Church at sa lahat po ng mga nakatutok sa atin sa ating live streaming uh, sa iba't ibang lugar. At uh, nawa ang uh, pagpapala ng Panginoon at kanyang pag-iingat ay patuloy na mapa sa atin. And I uh, would like also to thank the brother for the praise song that he rendered unto the Lord. And indeed, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is sufficient for each and every one of us. This morning, I would like to share a message based on the Bible and the spirit of prophecy. And may God continue to give us a divine enlightenment so that we will all will be blessed and also we will uh, gain knowledge and grace from our Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to share screen. Our topic for today is entitled Divine Law of Impartation. Ang makalangit na batas o utos ng pagpahayag uh, o kaya po'y pagbibigay. And it is uh, a biblical principle that all who will receive, they will also be a channel of blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it is also um, easily understood that before you can impart anything that you possess, you need to possess it greatly so that you may have the chance to give it to others and be a true channel of blessing. Ang uh, isa pong prinsipyo mula po sa banal na kasulatan, ang kanyang bayan ay maging daluyan ng pagpapala. Subalit, kailangan din ay meron tayong mga inaangkin o pag-aari bago po tayo makapagbigay. Hindi mo may bigay ang bagay na wala sa atin. You can never uh, share things that you do not possess. So again, dear brothers and sisters, divine law of impartation. We, we heard the Bible verse found in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. I would like to read it again. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. And this is the conclusion of the uh, writing of our uh, dear Apostle Peter in the Second Peter that we need to grow in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this Bible verse we will expound and uh, may God help us to learn from this uh, Bible verse. This is actually the, uh, the source of all the things that we may, uh, that we may possess and also impart to our fellow men. So again, Second Peter chapter three verse eighteen is the uh, divine law of impartation. In First Peter chapter two verse two, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. So uh, for an infant to grow, uh, the infant should be fed with the milk. And with the infant regarding the spirituality or Christianity, uh, the Bible speaks of the milk of the word. So ang sinasabi po ng banal na kasulatan sa mga uh, sanggol ay kailangan sila ay pakainin o painumin ng gatas upang sila ay lumago. Sa mga uh, bago sa pananampalataya, ganun din ang sinasabi. And uh, the Bible speaks of the milk of the word. And this word is none other the Holy Scriptures or the... Holy Bible. So if we want to impart the graces and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, we need to feed on the Word of God, which is compared to the milk of the Word, as was written by Peter. And feeding the soul with truth. So what do we need to feed? Is what we need to feed our soul with the truth that it is in Jesus. And the Bible speaks of the uh, Word or the Bible as the 
truth. And in John chapter 17, verse 17, sanctify them by thy word, thy word is truth. And in manuscript 16, written in 1890, coming to God inspires confidence and stimulates the soul to action. So when we come to our Lord Jesus Christ, when we come to God and through the power of the Holy Spirit, there is uh, the stimulation of our being to uh, act or to move according to the dictate of the Holy Spirit. The body will die if deprived of a suitable nourishment. And so with the soul, in order to have a spiritual strength, or even life, it must be nourished by the word, which is spirit and life. So the milk of the word is the spirit and life, and this will lead to life everlasting. It must be nourished by the word. It must be constantly fed by the truth which connects the soul with whom, with him in whom we live and move and have our being. Our, in, in our uh uh, physical aspect, we used to feed ourselves three times a day for a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The same thing uh, compared to our spirituality, we need also to feed our a spirit, we need to feed ourselves with the word not only once, not only twice, but regularly and constantly as long as we have the chance and the privilege to study the Bible. And in this way, we are feeding our soul and thereby we will grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ by the leading of the Holy Spirit. Kaya kung tayo po'y kumakain ng tatlong beses maghapon upang tayo ay maging malakas, manatili ang ating kalusugan, ay kailangan din natin pong alalahanin ang ating spirito ay kailangan din ng kumain at ang kanyang tanging pagkain ay ang salita ng ating Diyos o ang banal na kasulatan. Upang maging malakas ang ating pananampalataya at ang maging active, ang maging ang ating uh, uh, pag uh, Ahayag ng katotohanan sa ating kapwa ay kailangan po natin kumain ng kumain ng salita ng ating Diyos. And in Science of the Times, June 12, 1901, it is the Lord's desire that His followers shall grow in grace. So it is the earnest desire of our Lord Jesus Christ that we will receive His grace, grow in grace, that their love shall abound more and more. And if we receive this grace, and if there will be a growth in grace, the love of the Father in Jesus Christ will also abound in us. And that they shall be filled with the fruits of righteousness. And that is the bottom line of this grace that we will have the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fruit of the Holy Spirit as it is written in Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23 and which are by Jesus Christ unto the praise and glory of God. Kaya ang ninanais ng ating Panginoon sa lahat ng mga kanyang mga uh, tagasunod ay lumago po tayo sa biyaya. At ang sinasabi po dito, ah, kapag tayo lumago sa biyaya, ang ating pag-ibig ay, mana, ay uh, mananagana at ganun din tayo magkakaroon ng bunga ng katwiran na ating hinahangad yung katwiran ni Kristo. In, in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25, verse 25, another biblical principle of uh, imparting, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. Kaya yung pong nagdidilig, siya yung unang nababasa. Kaya yung pong nagbibigay ng Bible study, siya ang unang mababasa sa katotohanan. Sa makatwit, siya yung kailangan na uh, makinabang na una. Kaya nga kanina, sabi ko, wala kang maibibigay kung wala kang tinatangkilig. So this is a Bible principle that uh, gives as the knowledge of us imparting others so it is uh, the the same person who is imparting that we will bless first and will also gain the grace and knowledge directly from our lord jesus christ and i would like to read the signs of the times june 12 1901 once again on of the divine plans for growth is impartation so it is the divine or heavenly plan for us to grow and this uh, manifestation of growth is in imparting. The Christian is to gain strength by strengthening others. He that watereth shall be watered also himself. This is not merely a promise. It is a divine law. So sa mga pinto, ito po ay isang uh, utos o isang batas na makalangit na kailangan tayo lumago upang meron tayong may bahagi. And uh, as we continue, it is a divine law, a law by which God designs that the streams of 
the benevolence like the waters of the great deep shall be kept in constant circulation. So let us uh, take note of the word constant. Constant is continuous and is uh, it will never stop. In other words, we need to grow constantly and we need to grow continuously in the Lord. Continually flowing back to their source in the fulfilling of this law is the secret of spiritual growth. So uh, let us go back to this continually flowing back to their source. So the more you give, the more you will receive. The more you, the more you sow, the more you will also harvest or reap. So this is a divine plan for each and every one of us. The more we give, the more blessings will return from us. And it is um, uh, illustrated by a cycle that the more we spin the blessing, the more we will receive the blessing. And then again, in the last uh, sentence, it is the fulfilling of this law in the, uh, of this law is the secret of spiritual growth. So in other words, if you want to grow spiritually, we need to uh, apply in our daily lives this divine plan of imparting. And everything that we possess within our power and capacity, we need to impart what we receive from our Lord Jesus Christ and all according to this testimony, and this will flow back to the source. And of course, we never have the uh, anything that we possess in this world but it all comes from our dear father. And we are all his stewards and he wants us to be a faithful steward so that when he come, we will be called a faithful steward. So dito po ay makikita natin, ay ito po yung makalangit na plano ng ating Panginoon upang tayo lumago ay kailangan natin tayo ay magbigay. At ang pagbibigay po na ito ay nangangailangan ng patuloy nating pagkain ng salita ng ating Diyos upang sa lahat ng bagay, material, spiritual, o kaya intellectual, meron tayo pong maibabahagi. At ang sabi po, at ang katuparan ng utos na ito, ito daw po ang sekreto ng paglago ng spiritual. So again, in the fulfilling of this law, is the secret of spiritual growth as it is revealed in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18, thus the divine law of impartation. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 and 8, But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So if we... Uh, so or give a little and then we are not worthy of that great kingdom of our Lord in the heavenly courts. In other words, we need to give everything to our God and so that he will also, um, he will also uh, receive us in his kingdom. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you. Yeah, the source of grace and all that uh, we what wish to have or especially the eternal or the heavenly treasure comes from God. The main source is God. That ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. So if we grow in grace and knowledge, and this will also be seen in every good work. And this is because we have sufficient of everything and the grace of the Lord is sufficient and all that we uh, uh, acquire or possess in this world is sufficient because of the main source which is God. Kaya ang sinasabi po dito, kung ikaw ay magbibigay ng konti, ikaw ay tatanggap ng konti. Sa mga katwid, ang inahad natin ay malaki, malaking kalangitan o yung kayamanan sa kalangitan ay maaring hindi po tayo maligtas. Kung tayo naman po ay magtatanim ng marami, tiyak po ay marami din ang aaniin na tumutukoy po sa makalangit na pag-aani o yung pong makasama tayo doon sa great grand reunion in the coming days. At sinasabi rin po dito na ang ating Diyos ay siyang magbibigay ng lahat ang ating kasapatan at sa ganon, tayo po ay kailangan makitaan ng mabuting gawa o ang bunga ng ating pananampalataya and may abound to every good work. The will of God, we know uh, that the will of God is to keep His commandments like uh, what David, King David says, I desire to do thy will, O God, thy commandments is in thy heart, is in my heart. But again, there is another will of God that we need uh, to ponder upon and this is written in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification. This is the first part of the verse. So sa mga tweet, ang kalooban ng Diyos, tayo po ay 
mapabanal. Yan po ang kinakailangan upang siya ating makapiling sa buhay na walang hanggan. And sanctification, let us now study sanctification in the Review and Herald, May 6, 1862. There is no Bible sanctification for those who cast a part of the truth behind them. So we have the uh, present truth, we have the truth as it is in Jesus. So we need to accept, we need to uh, apply this truth and uh, And if we will uh, neglect a part of this truth, and then this is not true sanctification according to the Bible principle. So sinasabi po dito, uh, wala daw pong uh, pagpapabanal, sangayon sa banal na kasulatan, kung hindi natin may sa kabuhayan ang ilang o maliit na bahagi man ng katotohanan. Kaya kung ano yung natanggap natin, present truth. Gagabi, ang lesson natin ay present truth. And we always study uh, the uh, present truth because we, uh, Jesus Christ is the most holy place and we need to know the three appliances inside the Ark of the Testament and this is uh, what we need to also live according to our faith and in this way we cannot neglect a part of it otherwise this is not sanctification in its truest sense. Kaya po ang pagpababanal, ang lahat ng katotohanan ng ating nalalaman ay kailangan po ay makita sa atin. Hindi natin pwedeng santabi yung uh, isang uh, pinatawag na bahagi ng uh, uh, kaban ng tipan. Kakaayaw natin yung dalawang tapyas ng bato, susunod tayo sa dalawa. O kaya ayaw natin ng tungkod ni Aaron, susunod tayo sa dalawa. Ayaw natin, o kaya ayaw natin yung pong, uh, uh, golden path of mana, susunod tayo sa dalawa. In other words, if we are well-versed with the present truth, which is a base on the most holy place in the heavenly sanctuary, wherein in the Ark of the Testaments there are three appliances, we need to apply these three appliances, the golden path of mana, the rod of Aaron, that body, then also the two tablets of stones. And with this uh, present truth, we need also the power and the guidance of the Holy Spirit so that we will be accounted righteous in the sight of God. How is it possible that we may grow in grace? Gaano po kaposible na tayo po lumago sa biyaya? It is possible to us only as we empty our heart of self. Kaya kailangan po mawala ang ating sarili, isuko natin ang ating sarili, and present them to heaven to be molded after the divine pattern. So one uh, uh, key to success so that we may grow in grace is to empty or surrender ourselves fully to God That is why the song, I Surrender All. In this way, we will be molded according to the divine pattern, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. Kailangan daw ay mawala, mamatay yung ating sarili. Kaya sinasabi ni Pablo ay namatay siya araw-araw at si Kristo ang nabubuhay sa kanya. Kaya ang mahalaga po dito upang may hubog tayo sa ayon sa uh, wangis o ugali ng ating Panginoon ay kailangan mamatay ang ating sarili. It is also compared to a seed Before it will grow, you need to bury it on the ground. Uh, otherwise, it will not grow. So that is why there is a stagnation of the spirituality of many of the professed Christians because they do not die uh, to their selves. So ngayon po ang sinasabi kung mamatay tayo sa kay Kristo ay kailangan ay magkaroon po tayo ng lubusan na pagpapasakop sa Kanya upang makamta natin yung tinatawag na divine pattern. <clears throat> A connection with the channel of light, the source of light, and it's our Lord Jesus Christ. And it speaks in the Bible, I am the light of the world. And we are also the light of the world. And we are also compared to light bearers. In other words, there must be a light from the source, which is the son of righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we may reflect is this light, that we may shed light in this world that is full of darkness, both about by sin. In the signs of the times, January 16, 1893, We may have a connection with the living channel of light. We may have be we may be refreshed with the heavenly dew and have the showers of heaven descend upon us. So this is provided. This is all in, uh, according to the providence of our God, the great provider, so that we may continue to shine like our Lord Jesus Christ. So we need to be connected constantly, continuously, and abiding in our Lord Jesus Christ that we may grow in spirit and in grace as we appropriate the blessing of god so if we continue to uh, share or impart the blessing of god we shall be able to receive greater measures of his grace that is spiritual benevolence based on the bible as we learn to endure as uh, seeing him who is invisible 
we shall become changed into the image of Christ. The grace of Christ will not make us proud, cause us to be lifted up in self, but we shall become meek and lowly in heart. So these are a few manifestations of the true uh, uh, spiritual growth. So if we, uh, if the grace of Christ is in us, we will not be proud. Pride is no longer in our life. We will not be lifted up. We will not be boastful. Wala po tayo magyayabang. Hindi tayo magmamapuri. Tayo ay maging mapagpakumbaba o maging maamo, katulad po ng ating Panginoong Esokristo. So these are practical manifestations of the spiritual growth as it is in Jesus. And if the grace of Christ is in us, and then this will be seen in every follower or Christian. Kaya ito po ay makikita sa atin. Ang tanong, mayabang pa ba ako? Mapagpapuri pa ba ako? Ay naangking ko ba yung kapurian ng Diyos? At ito po ay hindi po ang tunay na paglago sa biyaya. Kapag tayo ay uh, palaging nagmamataas, akala, mo, akala natin na tayong lahat ang may kagawa ng lahat ng kabutihan, ibig sabihin wala po yung biyaya ng ating Panginoon. This is actually the opposite of the character of Christ if we are still proud and we, we are lifted up for self. It's mean, it means to say that there is a grand standing whenever we do good works, but this is actually uh, a mirror of our selfishness. Kaya kapag wala na po yung ating sarili, ayaw na nating nababanggit man yung ating sarili sa mga nabubuti nating nagagawa na dulot po ng bulong o pangangasiwa ng banal na espiritu. This is a biblical principle of what is true grace and knowledge in the Lord. Sanctification, a continual growth in grace. And the review in Herald May 6, 8 and 62, we read, Sanctification is not the work of a moment, an hour, or a day. It is a continual growth in grace. So sanctification is synonymous with continual growth in grace. We know that one day how strong will be our conflict the next. Satan lives and is active and every day we need to earnestly cry to God for help and strength to resist him. As long as Satan reigns, we shall have to self to subdue, besetments to overcome, and there is no stopping place. There is no point to which we can Come and say we have fully attained. So uh, uh, continual growth in grace in spite of the persecutions and tribulations that will be heard um, uh, against us by the enemy, as it is prophesied in Revelation chapter 12, verse 17, he will make war with the remnant of the seed. In other words, daily we will be encountering trials and persecutions from the enemy and we need also to overcome our self, our selfish nature. So ang pagpapabanal, ito'y patuloy na paglago sa biyaya. So ito po ay magkasing hulugan kapag tayo ay napabanal dahil sa biyaya ng ating Panginoon ay makikitaan po tayo ng kapakumbabaan at ng mabubuting ugali ng ating Panginoong Esokristo. A requirement from God. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse, verse 4, we read that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. So again, this is a, a reminder and a requirement from God that we need to maintain sanctification, maintain or retain the, uh, our abiding in Christ, our communion with Christ, uh, otherwise we will also fail with our faith. So sabi po dito, ay kailangan tayo ay maging banal at magbibigay ng karangalan sa ating Panginoon Yesu Cristo, sanctification and give honor to the great provider and the great source of grace and knowledge from the heavens. So earth and vessels, tayo po ay inalintulad sa mga banga. Yan. And uh, the minister and the believer are declared to be but earthen jars for the supreme purpose of containing God's great treasure. So if we are earthen vessels, we need to empty these vessels or jar. Otherwise, the, the water that comes from the spring of living water, which is our Lord Jesus Christ, cannot fill us in. Kaya kailangan ay mawala yung sarili upang ang Panginoon ay siyang manahan o pumuno doon sa mga banga o mga uh, mga palayok na tinutukoy po ako o ikaw. 
So the, the, we are compared again to earthen vessels. Tayo po yun. So uh, kung ito ay nakikita natin, sa bakat tweet ay wala po silang laman. So we need to empty ourselves, surrender all our uh, uh, ourselves and submit fully or wholly so that God will work in us both to will and to do of His uh, good pleasure. So we are uh, being ready in emptying, in emptying ourselves. We want to be ready that God will pour upon us His great treasure. And we read from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. What is this treasure? That the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. This is the power of God that will work in us, the, from our uh, wickedness, we will transform into the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ. From emptying ourselves as uh, compared to a jar or a pot, and then this treasure will be filled up by God if we keep on asking and, and also and uh, surrendering ourselves. Man is but earthen vessel that contains the jewel of Christ's righteousness, which is imputed and imparted to every believer. So if you think that you are full or filled with the righteousness of Christ, well, so think uh, think uh, again, dear brothers and sisters, because in uh, reality, we cannot be filled we may not be filled until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ that we are alive and we are also transformed and to meet him in the clouds of heaven. So that is why sanctification is a continuous process until our translation in the heavenly kingdom. So ang sinasabi po dito, tayo daw po ay mga uh, banga o mga palayok na kailangan ay makita po yung hiyas ng katwiran ni Kristo. At ito po ay pinagkakaloob sa atin ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya. The fellowship of the human and divine. It is the work of the three greatest powers that we may obtain and attain all these things. Our sanctification is the work of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is the fulfillment of the covenant God has made with those who bind themselves up with Him. So we may take note or highlight the word, who bind themselves. Kung tayo daw po ay magpasakop sa Kanya. Kung tayo ay itali natin ang sarili natin sa Kanya. To stand with Him, His Son, and His Spirit in holy fellowship. Have you been born again? Have you become a new being in Christ Jesus? Then cooperate with the three great powers of heaven who are looking or who are working in your behalf. So it is a, a divine fellowship, a holy fellowship, and we need to uh, work with these three great powers. And we need just to surrender ourselves and let them um, uh, work in, in our uh, being the, so that the character or the righteousness of Christ will be manifested in every one of us. So, ito po ang sinasabi, pakikipagkaisa ng tao sa Diyos, Ama, Anak, ang ating Espiritu Santo. Kailangan araw-araw, a continuous growth in grace, ay araw-araw tayo po ay nakaugnay sa tatlong kapangyarihan po na ito ng langit. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13, But we are bound to give thank, thanks all the way to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God had from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. And this Bible verse is very clear mentioning the three great powers, God and our Lord and the Holy Spirit, that our God really wants us to be saved. And we will only be saved if we will be sanctified in believing the truth. So we will be gazed according to the truth that we receive. And if we apply or adopt this in our daily lives, then there will be a true sanctification according to the Bible principle. So dito po sa talata, nabanggit ang tatlong kapangyarihan, ang Ama, ang Diyos, ang Panginoon, at ang Espiritu. At sa pamamagitan ng paniniwala at pag, uh, sa pagsunod, pagtalima sa katotohanan, ay dito po magkakaroon ng tunga, na, tunay na bunga ng kabanalan. In 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 14, 
Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. So ito po ay sinabi muli, uh, magkaroon tayo ng kapayapaan sa Diyos kung ating itakwila ng ang uri ng kasamaan o ng kasalanan. Tayo po ay uh, walang kapintasan kung ang katwiran ni Kristo ay siyang suma sa atin. Walang kasalanan kapag ang Panginoong Yeso Kristo ay siyang suma atin. So let us remember all these Bible verses towards sanctification. Evidences of sanctification. These are practical evidences or manifestations of true sanctification or continuous growth in grace. In Review and Herald, October 5, 1886, true sanctification will be evidenced by a conscientious regard for all the commandments of God. So whoever keep the whole commandment and stumble in one, he breaks all the uh, the, all, the whole commandments according to James chapter two verse ten. So the evidence of sanctification number one is to keep all the commandments, all the ten commandments of God. Number two is by a careful improvement of every talent. God bestowed every talent to His people. You possess one talent, two talents, or three talents, and this will multiply if we have a careful improvement. Of every talent that God has imparted to us. Ang pangalawa po, kung ano man yung mga talento na hawak natin, kailangan daw natin maingat na apalaguin. And number three, so by a circumspect conversation. So in other words, we need to always uh, uh, be reminded that we are a citizen of uh, of heaven. We are not of this world, and all our conversation or our profession, all our words must be according to what will be the communication or language in the heavens. Uh, Naiimagine nyo po kung paano mag-usap sa langit. Pwede kaya yung usap-usapan natin dito sa lupa kung tayo po ay nasa langit na. Kaya let us always remember the conversation that is required of us from God. So this is a part of sanctification and purification by the power of the Holy Spirit or the three uh, great powers. So ang um, ikaapat, the fourth is by revealing in every act the meekness of Christ. So we will never be meek if Christ is not in us. Hindi po tayo pwedeng ma maging maamo sa ating buhay kung wala si Kristo. Lalo na yung masyadong sensitibo, madaling magalit, Meron lang narinig ng konti, hindi naman siya ang kinakausap, ay magadali po siyang mag-react. That is not a meekness actually. That is sensitivity because of the love of self. So whenever we are uh, uh, possessing these uh, evidences of sanctification, it is because God is working in us. So these uh, evidences will not be seen in us if we are not abiding or connected with the true vine, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. Tandaan po natin itong apat na mahalagang bagay po na ito dahil ito ang nagpapatunay na tayo lumalago sa biyaya at kay Kristo. So, the true sign of sanctification continued. Those who dishonor God by transgressing His law may talk sanctification. But it is of that value and just as, as acceptable as was the offering of Cain. Kaya pwede tayo tayong magsalita na tayo ay napapabanal, pero yung ating mga pananalita, pag-aangkin, maging ang panalangin o hain, ay walang pinagkaiba doon kay Cain. Hindi po yan tatanggapin ng ating Panginoon kung tayo patuloy po sa pagsalangsang sa kanyang kautusan. Obedience to all the commandments of God is the only true sign of sanctification. Disobedience is the sign of disloyalty and apostasy. That is why the first apostate is Lucifer when he uh, dishonor and also he uh, transgress the law of God, especially the first uh, a commandment, thou shalt not have other gods before me, and uh, many more. And then this is also manifested in the life of Cain and all who rebelled against the authority of God. At dito po ay makikita sa atin, paano natin iniingatan ng kautosan ng Diyos, tayo po ba ay tapat? o tayo ay tumalikod sa Kanya. Pag tayo tumalikod sa Kanya, kasi meron tayong nakaligtaan sa mga kautusan o sa sampung kautusan. And in 1 John chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, And hereby we do know that we know Him if we keep His commandments. And He that said, I know Him and keep it not His commandments, is a liar and the truth is not in Him. So profession is nothing if we do not possess 
the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, we do not grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. To grow in his spirituality. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 15. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. So one way of sanctification or sanctifying process, or one way that we may say or speak that we are grow, growing in spirituality or in grace, it is because we speak the truth in love. This is a complete formula, is speaking the truth in love. So you may speak the truth, but if it is not based on the love that is required by God, it is also a profession, an offering like the offering of Cain. Kaya ito po ay ating alalahanin na meron pong pagsasalita ng katotohanan sa pamamagitan ng pag-ibig upang tayo lumago sa lahat ng bagay na makalangit na katulad po ng ulo lang iba kundi ang ating Panginoon at tayong katawan ang kanyang bayan. A product of growth or the end product of growth. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13 till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. So the unity of faith, the knowledge of the Son of God, this is one also a uh, characteristics or manifestation of the growth in grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is perfection. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. In Psalm, Psalm 50 verse 2, out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God had shined. So Zion is a representation of the church of God, the only true church of God. And uh, whether we like it or not, believe it or not, be saved or not, there will be a perfection of beauty in the in the church of God that will, will be translated in the near future and meet Jesus Christ and will live uh, happily ever after. So ito po ang uh, sinasabi dito, ang kauwian ng ating pananampalataya ay kailangan magkaisa tayo sa pananampalataya, ang kaalaman sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo hanggang tayo po ay maging sakdal. At ganun din, ay, ito po ay magaganap. Maliligtas man tayo hindi, andun man tayo hindi, maniwala ka man na hindi, ay tiyak po ito ay magaganap. Ang kabanalan, ang kapantasan, o yung tinatawag na perfection, kagandahan ng uh, kag, uh, kapantasan o ng tinatawag po na uh, kabanalan ay ito ay magaganap, mangyayari. And I wish that this uh, perfection of beauty out of Zion will be seen in every one of us, that we will be a part of those uh, 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 redeemed that will be translated in the near future. So may God help us to grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we may also, uh, that also the divine law impartation will be seen in us, and I pray that every one of us will be a channel of blessing, that this uh, blessing will also, which comes from the source, will also be a great uh, a talent for us and a great uh, a treasure for us so that in the coming days, we will all have this uh, heavenly joy that we will be together, not only in this earth, but also in the new earth as it is uh, provided by our dear God. And this is my recent prayer in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.